Well, so how about the act of writing? How about this, this issue of authorship? How is that evolving now in the digital age? I mean, we see all of these tools, Wattpad being a great example, mm -hmm. that's sort of democratizing the ability to tell stories. Everybody can tell their own story now. Um, so do you think that the stories are fundamentally different when everyone can do them? Um, are... well, I think, again, like writing is a, I mean, language is basically just a system of symbols that are used to point at some truth, which is not the symbols themselves. The symbols are symbols. Um, and if you look at language in that way, writing text is just one form of symbolic creation. You could also look at an Instagram photo as a type of language, or a Vine video as a type of language, or a conversation as a type of language. All of these ways are just ways of like one human consciousness trying to communicate the inner experience to another human consciousness. Text writing happens to be one way that we've stuck with for a long time, but I don't think in any way that has to be the final way. Right. Although one would argue that, that language is a, is a relatively fundamental, uh, fundamental uh, skill and communication. One would be, argue. One would argue. Um, <laughs> I mean, the, 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 I think one of the, the issues with, uh, with, with, with images um, uh, is that um, it, it's actually a, it's a, it's a, a limited, a limited, audio, a limited uh, uh, creator set that can actually create genuinely interesting images. That's because Gen the interfaces aren't. I was just in a panel this morning that talked about uh, MRI machines that can basically, uh, at a distance, scan a person's brain and generate images dynamically on the fly in real time based on the thoughts that that person is having. I mean, imagine if you could just, through thinking, communicate your inner experience to me without having to bother with the, the trouble of words. Oh, oh, absolutely. I saw absolutely. Absolutely. Right I think right that the future. I think <laughs> that, uh, um, um, and, and I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm a huge believer in a little bit beyond that, where, in fact, we are simply communicating with each other uh, through background thought. Um, Candice, uh, do you want to sit next but, to me and but, we hold hands? I feel like this is uh, uh, um, but, but there the is ending a, of the world. I know. There's, a, there's, a, there's a funny moment that people have when um, they'll look at a, they'll, they'll, I mean, today, They'll look at an image, they'll, um, uh, they'll have an experience, and it, it ends up getting communicated primarily through, mm -hmm. um, uh, through language, not, not, not so much text, but through language, through descriptions. Um, um, when you see, when you, if you see a chart or a graph and there's a piece of insight you, you get, and you turn to the person next to you to explain that insight, you usually don't draw that chart or graph first. You usually explain it first. Mm -hmm. um, and I actually I think that there, there are things we can do a thousand times beyond language. But I think it's, it's a mistake to degrade language. Yeah, I, um, I, it usually is <laughs> one of the things that, is, uh, that people think of when they think of intelligence um, as a defining characteristic. Yeah, I, I completely agree. And I think uh, text is very universal, right? Like everybody uh, learns how to read and write. And I think that's not going away anytime soon. And I think what the internet has allowed authorship how it's really changed is that A, anybody can do it. There's no barriers to actually getting an audience. Anybody can put their work up. But not only that, you're able to get tremendous feedback uh, from an audience that will actually make you a better writer. At least on Wattpad, that is the single biggest uh, asset that we offer people is you're not writing in isolation with nobody there, nobody listening. It's the fact that you just have to post one chapter and there's an audience and that audience is encouraging and they're giving you feedback and you're able to get data and you're able to see who's commenting on your work and what what parts work and what resonates so i think you know this really changes the game of authorship in a massive way by giving access to people and then really great feedback no, that's interesting because usually on the internet, people don't leave you great feedback. <laughs> I mean, when I uploaded my first song, I waited three months for the first comment. It was 1999. There was no high-speed internet, and the first comment was after three months. And, you know, it took a lot of time to load that comment. I was really looking forward to And it was, I didn't even have, the, I didn't have time to download your song, but you have a silly last name. <laughs> great. And that was the first evil comment I got. <laughs> I think that's very true, and on Wattpad, we've really, why we've been able to grow our audience is because it's a really positive community where the writer, the author, actually has control of the comments in that you know, they can choose to uh, keep the comments on their page or take them off if that is the case, but the, the purpose of the community is to get people writing. It's right. not to review or critique stuff, which is very different in certain communities.